Hi and welcome to this screencast on threat modeling and attack simulation using SecureCAD. My name is Joar Jacobson and I work with education, documentation and customer delivery. To start with I would like to make a quick stop at the SecureCAD user community website. This is the main location for information on SecureCAD and uh, general information on threat modeling and attack simulation. For instance, we have this concept section here explaining what threat modeling and attack simulation is. But in this screencast we will look at how to get started, so we go for the get started section here. The top item here under the Get Started section is the SecureCAD in a nutshell page. I will not do the surfing top down, but what I want to show in this page is this super simple network architecture map. This network map here is corresponding to the example model that comes with SecureCAD. So, like with the example model, we see that we have a couple of network objects. We have host objects representing the systems. We have data flows between the hosts and we have router objects and so on. So, this is our model that we will run attack simulations on. Objects in SecureCAD have different properties depending on what they represent. If we select this network object, for instance, then we see that there are attack steps here and defenses as well. And the attack steps are things or operations that an attacker would like to achieve. In this case, ARP cache poisoning, compromise, DNS spoof and denial of service. In the next tab here, we see that each object also has got a set of defenses. And defenses are something that will make the attack steps tricky to achieve. So in this case for a network, it's DNSSEC, port security and static ARP tables. When we select another type of object, like this host object, instead we say see that we have a different a list of attacker operations. It is like exploit missed configuration, bypass IDS and so on. And the defenses list is also different. It says ASLR, DEP, if the host is hardened or patched or things like that. We also see that this object here, this host stage SRV2, has got a star on it. And if we scroll down we also see that this data store object here called customer records also has got a star on it. These stars indicate that these objects have been selected as high value assets which means that uh, they will show up in our simulation results and also that the business is particularly interested in protecting these assets. Going back to the top of the model, we see that we have connected an attacker object on workstation 1, which is corresponding to the map here where we said that the attacker is assumed to have got a foothold or a starting point at workstation number 1. Now let's fire off a simulation to see what this attacker is expected to achieve with our environment. We click on the simulate button, which will trigger an attack simulation. And this is run in the online simulation engine for the community edition. What SecureCAD does now is that the attack simulations are being run in our model uh, to see what different attack steps are possible. And also taking into account the different uh, defenses that the objects uh, have been defined with. If we go down in the report we see that we have our star marked high value assets. It's stage SRV2 and the customer records that we chose. 
and we see that uh, the attacker is expected to be able to write to the custom records in a time period of uh, 53 days. Compromising stage SRV2 is expected to happen quicker, which is in this, this case is nine days. As you can see, this report contains a lot of information, a lot of results for different purposes. And that is something that we will cover in a separate screencast. However, one thing I would like to point out is that when I built this model, I did not put in any knowledge about IT security. I only put in my knowledge about which systems belong where and the, how they are intended to be communicating in regular operations. It is of course possible to tweak both attack steps and defenses, but it is not required to gain good results from SecureCAD. One final thing I would like to point out is that if we go back to the user community page here, we have this section here, book a demo. And this will take you to a page where you can book a personal demo. You fill in some information here and then you will be invited to a personal demo session where we can answer questions and have a quite open and live discussion with you. Until then, thank you for listening.